everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Acker on the host with the voices, and welcome back to Kaiser Plays Super Mario 64. Last episode, we had a few issues with red coins. This episode, what are we starting with? Red coins! Just my luck. And it's in Snowman's Land, no less. We're not starting off on a positive today, folks. Well, to be fair, this level is not that bad. I just have issues with the snowman. But no, this red coin mission can be a little tricky. <sighs> but as long as you know where to go, what to do, you should be okay. In this case, what you gotta do is collect... Not you! Get off of my lawn, you transparent blue schnit! First, get the shell. You're gonna need it. Because you're gonna go surfing. Trust me, you're going to need it because some of the areas where these coins are require you to move across cold liquids. Like that. See? You need the shell for these. So you don't want to waste it. And done. So see, not that bad if you know what you're doing. But uh, if you break the shell at any point, you can't get the ones that are in the water and you're going to die. That's just the long and short of it, folks. All right. So that takes care of that one, and dang, not even a, like not even five minutes in, we got one star. Not a bad start. Okay, now on to the final mission here, which is into the igloo. Now we need the cannon for this particular mission, so we gotta go find the cannon boy, or the cannonball thing, wherever the heck he is. Where is the pink babam? Where are you, Pink Babam? I have a cannon that I need opened. Pink Babam, where are you? Pink Babam, where the heck is the Pink Babam? I could have sworn it was around here. Pink Babam, I would like to get shot out of a cannon, please. Okay, seriously, where the heck is this Pink Babam? This level's not that big. Okay, is it somewhere over here? I could have sworn I saw him while I was riding on the shell. Just, where the heck is he? So yeah, that's the tedium in this particular mission, is finding the pink ba -bomb. Where are you? Pink ba -bomb. Seriously, I need you. I need you to open the cannon! Where are you? Are you up there? Are you just straight up up there? Let me see. You might be up here. Are you up here? No, you're not. Where... Where's the pink ba bomb? Okay, I'm gonna go shell surfing to kind of speed this up a bit. Because, yeah. Alright, let's move. That pink ba bomb's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't tell me it's like near the snowman. That'll suck. Okay, so. Pass that. Well, might as well collect red coins again, because well, why not? Okay, no ba bomb here. Go away, snowman. Okay, no ba bomb here. So that rules that out. Oh, thanks, coin purse, for ruining my freaking surfing. Jerk. <sighs> so yeah, if you see coins kind of floating up above, it's those little coin purses. Word of the wise. Okay, I need to find this pink ba -bomb. Where's the pink ba -bomb? How many times have I said pink ba -bomb in the last friggin' minute? Pink ba -bomb, pink ba -bomb, pink ba -bomb. Where's the damn ba -bomb? Because we need it to shoot up there. Like, to that little platform up above me. That Z, right there. Unless, of course, you want to do it the old-fashioned way and just fall through there. Which I think at this point I might have to do because I seriously can't find the god dang pink ba-bomb. You know, I think it honestly might be in the freaking igloo. So I'm going to have to make my way across this again without falling. Uh, joy. I have to do this again. Great. Unless there's an easier way that I don't know about. Oh, joyous day. I don't need this. I don't need this. Why do I sound like I'm shaking in my boots? Probably because I am because I have to deal with this freaking snowman again. I don't like the snowman. The snowman is mean. So is the penguin accompanying him? Because th this, this penguin is just twitchy. He's twitchy. He's a twitchy penguin. <sighs> Talking about penguins, though, um, 
for those of you who have been following uh, Paul and I on social media, we've been kind of getting into Common Rider X Aid. Great season so far, by the way. We are currently uh, heading into episode 14, if I recall correctly. And uh, one little observation that her and I made about the level one riders in that show, they kind of look like little penguins. <laughs> Like, I don't know if anyone else has made this comparison, but, like, X-Aid, uh, Blade, friggin' Snipe, and Laser, like, in their base forms, hell, even get them. Like, they look like little friggin' Emperor Penguins. I don't know, they, like, they, they, it's cute, almost. <laughs> Honest to God, though, they're just as adorable. There you are, you pink bastard! Get over here! <laughs> Hiding in the goddamn igloo thinking I needed you, I did not need you, you lied to me! You lied to me! How dare you? Okay, so we are in the igloo, and the trick to this is basically just running through all of this. And I believe the star is there. That's all you have to do, really. But I'd recommend opening the cannon for later. Anyway, because you never freaking know when you're gonna need to get the shot out of a cannon. So yeah, just talking to him opens it. So now just. Go get the star with the few seconds remaining. Yes! Oh, it was beautiful. That was nice. That took way too long, though. But we're done with this level for now. Woo! All right, so next on the list is Wet Dry World. Okay, cool. We're going to a level I like. Which, for some reason, people think this level radiates negative energy. I don't see the comparison. Like, I get it's kind of annoying at times, but, I mean, it's not that bad, at least to me. I don't know. Okay, so this is Express Elevator. Basically, what you got to do here is kind of lower the water level so that way you can ride the elevator down. Because what you got to do is break this block and then go through the elevator, you know, and then just kind of make your way to the top like swimming wise so yeah let's lower the water lower the water levels honestly these diamond things do look really weird in retrospect like they're just they're, they're different All right and break this now we need to go up raise the water level again have the elevator go down and then essentially just ride our way to the top once we start swimming I want to see if I can get this thing to flip me up there. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor and give me a flip? Come on, flip me. Oh, I just now noticed this. It's got like a little Bowser sticker on the side. In all my years playing this game, I have never once noticed that. Oh my god, that's cute. That's a cute detail, and I'm going to die if I don't pay attention. Okay, nope. You're useless. Screw you. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to climb the thing. We're going to raise the water level that way. I ain't dealing with doing it the fun way. Because the fun way is getting me killed. Alright, that should raise it enough. Okay, let's get our health back. The fun way, ironically enough. Okay, let's go. Okay, you. I'm gonna give you a second chance. Can you flip me? Fire, go away. I want you to flip me. Flip me? Yes, you. Follow me. Hey, don't be a jerk. Flip me. Not enough distance. You'd think I'd be able to get flipped, but no. Don't flip me, which sucks. Ah, either way, gotta make a way up and figure this out. Do it the old-fashioned way, cause why not, right? Oh, why did I ground pound there? I did not mean to use my butt in such inefficient ways, but there it is. <sighs> okay, so new plan. Let's just go straight up. Why why bother going for the smaller diamonds when we can just go for the big ones? No biggie. Honestly, that's on me for not thinking it. Cause yeah, that was kind of a dumb on my part. Regardless, let's just hit this. Now the water level is raised. This is where I think people might have an issue with this level. So here's what you do. All right, first off, we gotta ride our way across to get to the cage. Watch out for the purple babam. 
Yeah, it went from pink to purple. You now have purple bombs, because why not? Hey, purple rocks. Don't diss purple, man. Purple's a good color. Okay, so... Let's just flip up to here, and up to here, and go along. No, don't you touch me! Do not touch me, purple boy. I'm the mood. I'm the mood for your purpleness. You are not the b bomb behind the slaughter. Do not make that a meme! <laughs> okay, so now we ride this down. You gotta go quick, so swim for your life. Time for you to swim for your life. Okay, get into the cage, and you gotta beat the elevator here. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the thing. Camera, work with me. Oh, yes! That is how you do the express elevator like a boss. Yeah! Alrighty. That's how you get it done. Back in we go, because we got two more stars to go. And this involves the other part of this level, because we're going to town for red coins. And this one I don't mind too much. Now, this particular mission involves the cannon. So hopefully you found the pink bomb and unlocked the cannon, which I didn't do, so I'm gonna have to go find him. Okay, now where's that pink bomb? Pink bomb, I need to find you. Where, oh, where's the pink bomb? <sighs> Times like this, I wish I'd remember to get the pink bombs. Pink bomb, pink bomb. I might just title the episode Pink ba bomb at this point, <laughs> just to mess with people. <laughs> Alright, watch out for the purple ba bomb It's just fun to say ba bomb really. Just ba bomb <laughs> Who came up with that? Like, what person at Nintendo decided to name the bombs ba bombs Like, I want to meet that man. I want to meet that man and give him a hug. Wait, is the pink ba bomb up there? Oh my god, yes it is. How do you even? Okay. There's got to be a way to get there, so let's go back up there, and let's investigate, shall we? Alright, so moving right along, and we're just going to do a flip, and then do another flip, and watch out for- you know what, no, I'm not watching out for you. You can go ba-boom! Thank you. Do I have to deal with you every time I mess up and have to come back up to this plank? Watch out for the Electro Ball. Both of them. Whoop. Uh, kinda glad I got rid of that purple b bomb now. Uh, my fate lies in the hands of pink b bombs but they don't have hands, so what do you know? Let's move. All right, gotta jump on the board. Just gotta make my way slowly across. Honestly, this is the best angle to do this at, so that way you can just focus. Whoa, hello. Okay, so there's where the bomb is gonna be. Wait, did I already open the thing? Did I already open it? Because if I did, then make this a whole lot easier. I mean, did I? Is it already open? Let's see. Because it looked open from the top. Let's... Ah, great. I think we have to triple jump up there. Either that or it's like a flip jump. I have forgotten how to do things in a game that I have been playing since I was four years old. What the hell? Okay, so it's not a flip jump, or at least I wasn't close enough to do the flip jump. Okay, let's, uh, whoop. There we go. You. Open the cannon. Thank you. I do love that they show you the door opening every time. You know, it's, it's, it's the little touches. Okay, so now that that's open, we can finally proceed with the level. Yes, it's a little annoying to have to wait on the cannon, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. God, that background image has been used in so many Mario analysis videos, like for the iceberg and such. It's very popular. Alright, anyways. Fire away! Into the gate! Alright, and now... Oh, we swim. Swim, swim, swim. Down, down, down to the depths below. Where we are going, nobody knows. Well, I mean, I do. And about 90% of the internet who have grew up with this game, I mean, they would know. <laughs> All right, so through this tube, we find another level, or at least another part of the level. This is the town. Don't ask too many questions about the town. You ain't going to get any answers. All right, so what you have to do here is essentially lower the water level 
so that way you can start busting blocks to find red coins. Simple, right? Well, sort of. You're gonna have to do a lot of platforming to get to these coins, so you're gonna have to do this very carefully. Where's the diamond? I've gotta find the diamond. Well, let's at least grab this red coin, because it's right here. The easiest one to collect. Alright. Where is the diamond? Is it in the square? No, it's not. Where is the diamond? Must find it. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Where is the diamond? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. I'm going to drown if I don't find it. Oh no, I'm letting it fall. Am I going to die down here? No, because there's coins. But even then, aha, there you are. Oh, good friend of mine. All right. Why do I do these weird voices again? Oh yeah, it's the literally the focal point of my channel. <laughs> All right. So now we can begin the hunt. For the coins. As you can tell, red coin missions do kind of do me an annoyance. But, it is what it is, folks. Red coins ain't going anywhere. Or blue coins, or purple coins, or... I don't even know how many variants of this mission there are at this point. But, basically find eight of this thing and then make it happen. Alright, there's another red. Okay, we're going to have to do some finicky finessing to get up there. So, it'll be fun to collect those coins for sure. Alrighty, let's jump up and up. Alright, and okay. I think for this particular one, we need to triple jump our way. One, two, three! Or not. Maybe it's one of those things we have to do like constant wall jumping because it seems like you can. Okay, oh! Yep, it's the wall jump trick. Aha! Oh, okay. Let's try that again. This time with feeling. Once more with feeling! <laughs> the feeling in this case, being flattened like a goddamn pancake. Okay, easy now. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, this one requires you to have some platforming finesse. Because if not, you ain't gonna get it. Okay, that's five. Okay, so... Oh, good save. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's the coin mission after this one is a little easier, so that's a plus. Now, what does this block do? What does this switch do? Well, thankfully it's not for that, so I don't feel stupid. Now, where does it go? I don't see. Oh, I think it's for this. Okay, so at least I know that for later. Okay, so let's move along, move along. Where's the coins? Where's the coins? Where are my coins? No one's up there. One is definitely up there for sure. And how doth one retrieve it? Maybe it does have to do with the switch. Let's let, let, let's hit the switch again. Let's see. Blonk. And honest to God, that is a freaking hefty switch. Okay, well, no, it's definitely for there, so is it another wall jump thing? I think it is. Yeah, it's wall jumping. Whoop, and whoop. But it's angled, so you have to be very careful how you finesse this. Whoop, up. No, jump, jump, jump. There we go. Okay, so break it. Okay, now, the last two should be on these two blocks over here. Then what you gotta do is just climb your way up and get the coins. I mean, star, after you collect the coins. What is my English? It doth not exist. English, thy name is not Kaiser today, it seems. Okay. Land on here. Yes. Nope. Don't climb back up, you stinking plumber. Carefully. Walk along the platforms. Or run, if you're feeling brave. Okay. Alright, seven. And that should be eight. Yes, it is. And there's a star. Wunderbar. That'll put us to 86. Not bad, if I do say so myself. We're definitely running out of stars to collect, though. So we're going to have to start doing 100 coin missions soon. Otherwise, we're going to get 86 ourselves. Get it? All right. Now that we're done with the red coin mission... Let's go back in one more time to finish it off. With quick race through downtown. 
We're gonna have to go flying again, so get ready, folks. And how do I get up there normally? Oh yeah, there's a switch. Hit that, use the oddly wooden blocks to get up here, and then just do one of these. I'm doing it this way because I, I want to show that there is an alternative way to get to the cannon with less water. Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt you any at all if you know you're careful. Or, you know, you just do one of these. Long jump. And then get burned on the butt. Don't do that part. That part's kind of my fault. Whoa. Okay. Whoosh. All right. And then just into the cannon. Because why not? Whew. All right. Off we go. And now we shoot our way to the top. Oh, it would suck if I missed. And so, yeah, basically now there's less water in the tank, but, I mean, it's not really going to cause too many issues, because, you know, it's just less water. You're not taking damage if you hit the wall, although that would suck if you did. Like, imagine if this game had damage for getting hit on the walls, like getting shot out of a cannon and such. And I better move, because my health is in the yellows. Oh, that's not good. 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 No, 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 no. Hey, surface. Much better. Okay. Metal block, you're going to come in handy this time. Okay. Down we go to the depths. All right. Now, we just got to hit the block to lower the water level. This will be easier to do this way than swimming. We don't have to worry about our air. So, the race downtown involves that blue power-up block. What we got to do is move quick. Now, thankfully, I've memorized this, so I know what to do. So let's go! It's long jumps. Then what you gotta do is hit this switch and just hustle. The rest is just the hustle to get there before the block disappears. Okay. And then just gotta jump your way up, and you're good to go. That's it. That's the mission. Much easier than the red coins, don't you think? So we're up to 87. All right. Good. We are done with this area. For now, of course. Save and continue. Alright, next up on the list is Tall Tall Mountain with two more missions to go. Alright, let's see if we can get them done in relative time. What's next? Mysterious Mountain Slide. Oh, this mission. <sighs> given how bad luck I... Given the bad luck I had with slides last time, I'm <laughs> a little hesitant. Okay, so let's see. I want to see if I can get to the teleport that is, I think, here? In here? No, is it this one? One of these had a teleport, I swear to God. Is it this one? No? It was one of the smaller ones, I can tell you that much. One of these did warp you. I'm not I'm making a joke. There we go, that's the one. And this warps you to... Oh. The other star. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I guess we're doing this one now. No, we're not, because we need the cannon. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, don't you love cruel irony? Okay. Warp me back. Alright, let's... Uh... We're, we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to... We're not going to... We're not going to talk about that. Nope. We're just, we're, 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 we're just going to move on. We're just going to move on and get on with our lives. You know, just pretend that didn't just happen. You know, that 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 did not, did not, did not happen. But you know it's there, so yay! Information! Uh, kill me. Don't actually. I, I want to live. I want to live, Father! I want to live! Uh, Actually, on the subject of father figures... Why do so many of them grow up to be jerks? Seriously, like, some father figures nowadays are just terrible. Like, and I'm saying this from experience, my dad sucked. You know, like, I, I, I want nothing to do with him. He was a jerk. You know, and like, so many people I've talked to, like, so many of my friends, like, so many people I know, just like, their dads are like, it's a, a, like no, just freaking no, you know? Like, it's weird. Like, usually moms are fine, but dads, no. I don't get that. It's weird. Anyways, slide time. 
Don't want to get too real here. I don't want to go too mellow. All right, so this slide is... What the hell am I looking at? It's a little bit trippy, not going to lie. So this slide actually has a trick. And by trick, I mean it's going to try and fake you out. Although this is a good place to get a lot of coins very easy, so remember this for later. You want to follow this arrow. Otherwise, you're going to fall and lose. But it's such a quick thing if you're going too fast, you could easily miss it. You just got to be careful. Oh, yeah, and this rotating bit. Just stay on the side. Do yourself a favor. But yeah, no, you can get a mad amount of coins here. But no, just slide in here, and you know what? You got the star. It's that easy. Honestly, I'm glad I did it on my first try, because I was really scared I was going to flub it up. Me. All right. So, that takes care of that. I think we're done here. Enough missions for one day. We got one more to go in Tall Tall Mountain, but we'll deal with that later. Tune in next time as we do more of these missions to get more stars. Yes, I am going to get them all before I fight Bowser. Fight me. But until then, thank you all for very much. But until then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure all notifications are turned on, so that way you know when I am collecting more stars to finally beat Bowser's behind. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Sebastian Canino, Aaron Lena, I should 88, Jesse Barbo 6, Panda 475, Nagi Oki, Silver Fox MC, D Wolf 1414, Send Boy, Keith123, Angelique Dela Rouge, Whitey Chlorophyte, Honor Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Horizon Dreamer, Happy Haunts 999, Grimmy Leon, Zodiac Demirs, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, and Kitty Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, along with exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Kaiser, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye! <laughs>